Precious glass. Nowadays, agriculture faces one of the gravest snags, which is soil salination. This is caused by the salts that enter into sedimentation inside soil pillories. As a result, soil capacity falls down drastically. It is said by salt concentration in plants' capillaries and insufficient intake of nutrients will ultimately lead to the demise of crops. To solve the salination problem, we can offer magnetic treatment of irrigation water. This method is based on changes in physical and chemical parameters of natural water, which can better filtrating and dissolving capacity of the water. That will speed up salt removal from the salinated soil and facilitate absorption of nutrients and fertilizers for agricultural crops during a vegetation period. Magnetized water gains the power three, four times as much as usual water to bring salt out of the soil. As a matter of fact, oxygen concentration increases by 10%. It is noteworthy that after the water has been treated by magnets, the contents of plant nutrients spirals upwards. The problem of irrigating plants with salty water is closely related to that of soil desalination. What is going to happen if the capillaries are capable of making crystals of salt and other chemical elements or suspensions pass straight through? Let us imagine how salt capillaries and crystals may look. It goes without saying that such sizable crystals will block capillaries and salinize the capillaries of both plants and soil. Now what kind of picture can we get once those crystals are ground into dozens of tinier particles? As is seen, much smaller crystals can readily travel through capillaries of the soil and plants alike. Hence it follows that it is necessary to split up crystals. This is the job magnetic systems can handle. As a result of application, Salts are no longer dangerous, although their contents in the water do not scale down. The plant will select from the water whatever it needs for growth. Useless salt crystals and other components will go down the drain. Soil capillaries will also let the salt crystals and components have access to a general mobile water circulation system. Sure thing! This film is not enough to cover all the experiments that have been undertaken in the Arab Gulf countries. I just want to say that we have been carrying out research and development for 30 years now, and the figures speak for themselves. Magnetic technologies are the way to make nature and man healthy. These shots were taken on the premises of a line municipality. Like in previous experiments, all the groups of plants were put in the ground at the same point in time and in identical conditions. Now, look at these plants. Isn't it a total different story? The first thing that comes to our minds when spotting this astonishing phenomena is a sudden upsurge in the percentage of seeds germinating capacity and a more rapid growth of plants. In the final analysis, these favorable factors will be conducive to a decrease in a vegetative period by 15-20 days. As a rule, the yield goes up by several times over. There is also a drop in the morbidity rate. And these amateur shots were made in Abu Ghalib area near Cairo, Egypt. Here you can see the farmsteads of two UAE nationals. Junaid Mohamed Huri and Halfanal Mazrui. They avail themselves of an opportunity to implement our magnetic systems as long as six months ago. The soil of these farms has a high salt content. Amazingly enough, the water contains more than 2,000 salt particles per million. All attempts to grow bananas launched by the farmers before fell right through as neither soil nor water I agree with the parameters required for this crop. Now let us see the picture after magnetic technologies have been applied to the farms in question. It's a complete vault fuss. 
According to observations made by agronomists, the soil has experienced a speedy desalination and a banana catch was anything you could wish for. Within six months, the trees advanced to the sky and turned three meters high. The farm owners were quoted as saying that their most recent yield exceeded the vintage of bananas, which had been cultivated on a fertile soil with application of fresh water.